Among several areas of academic achievement in my life, I'm also a graduate of the Florida Law Enforcement Officer Training Academy. Prior to being in the ministry for over a quarter of a century, I had many years' experience as a Florida law enforcement officer. I worked for two different sheriff's offices as a deputy sheriff, one of which I did some of my own criminal investigations from start to finish. Also, I worked for the Florida Department of Corrections, both at the correctional officer level and at the administrative level in the central office headquarters in Tallahassee, Florida. I have participated in criminal courtroom trials, and I have given testimony and presented evidence in some of those trials. I say all of this to say that what I'm going to say next comes from professional insight, knowledge, and training, and from professional experience. Number one, there exists more criminal law enforcement affirmed forensic evidence that Barack Obama is not even a U.S. citizen than there exists evidence that he is. That is, at this point, an irrefutable fact. Number two, there exists more hard copy written and examined evidence, along with testimonial evidence from key witnesses that Barack Obama was born in Kenya, than the zero evidence that now exists that he was born anywhere in America. Number three, there exists more hard copy written and examined evidence along with testimonial evidence from key witnesses that Barack Obama is currently using a fraudulent social security number, a federal crime, than the zero evidence that now exists that he is using a completely legitimate social security number. Number four, there exists more evidence that Sheriff Arpaio's 10-month total criminal investigation of Barack Obama's proffered birth certificate is 100% correct than exist any evidence that his investigation is not correct. Not one single news source or investigation source has even attempted to forensically prove Arpaio's investigation to be inaccurate. Instead, they have simply attacked the messenger. They have refused to deal with the message of the clear evidence. So what are the implications of this matter? Why is it so important? Because if Arpaio's investigation is correct, and there is no evidence to suggest that it is not, that means America now has a foreign usurper as commander-in-chief with his finger on the red button and his finger on the U.S. economy directing the U.S. military, and he has the power to jail America's legal citizens. It is a crime and a fraud of monumental proportions, and at this point, all the evidence concludes that Congress, the mainstream media, and the federal courts are complicit in the crime. Let me demonstrate the irrefutability of what I have just said. When this scandal first broke well over three years ago, I was all over it. I've been a talk radio host since 2002. In the early stages of all of this, I was lampooned, lamblasted, called a racist and a bigot simply for asking legitimate patriotic questions. But I stayed on top of it. On P.P. Simmons, you have been the recipients of my tireless work in this matter. Since Arpaio's March Investigation News Conference 2012 and the devastating evidence that he presented, and now the July Conference, I've issued a challenge to my large national radio audience and even my international audience, please, now, present to me one piece of 100% forensically verifiable evidence that Barack Obama is even a legal U.S. citizen. The phone lines on this matter have gone strangely silent. The naysayers cannot be found. For months now, no one will challenge me on this. Let me further demonstrate this fact. If you, listening to this video, if you have any 100% verifiable evidence that would hold up in criminal court that Barack Obama is a 100% legitimate born-in-America citizen, please present it here. If you can do it, you will be the first and the only one in the world to do so. If you can't do it, then it is a fact. America is now under foreign control and we no longer have a constitutional republic. Unless, of course, we the people take it back. So present your evidence. Let's see it. Contact your congressman. Ask them for the 100% verifiable evidence. They can't present it either. If you can't, then as an American, you should be afraid, very afraid. I want to also say to my Canadian friends, my Australian friends, my New Zealand friends, my Israeli friends, and many other friends from around the world, Think of the role America plays in your national security, your way of life. This matter should be of the gravest importance to you as well. Won't you help us get this word out to as many American citizens as possible? 
God bless you. And God, please forgive and bless America. Do you ever wish that you could more powerfully, succinctly, and accurately speak to the message of your Christian faith and the Word of God? This is the book you need, The Magic Man in the Sky, Effectively Defending the Christian Faith. This book has been featured on TBN, Atlanta Live, dozens of radio programs, and hundreds of markets. It was rave-reviewed by the Washington Times, and it was called a must-read book. Considering the times in which we now live, you need this book. Get it today on Amazon.com or the WND Superstore.